Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic, Sith Inquisitor Edition. Now, when we left off, we had just found out and infiltrated Wilkes's base, and we had killed him, much to the dismay of our friend Andronicus. Yes, he was not too happy, but wait a minute. Search for signs of Wilkes's men. Yes. I need to do that right here. Is this guy already interacting with everything? I think he probably is, so that I cannot see it. Oh, no, never mind. I can actually see the data pad. Excellent. We've been in this desert three days now. About midday the day we left, Nerek tried to turn back, but Hayes would have none of it. We couldn't have Nerek telling. We forced Nerek to continue at gunpoint. At nightfall, we all got together to talk about what to do about Nerek. Hayes wanted to shoot him, but Hayes wants to shoot everyone. But then the Sand People attack, and took care of Nerek for us. Ever since that first night, we've kept a watch to warn us if the Sand People attack. That scrolls a little bit too fast. Not that it does any good. Without the lights from town, you can't see anything in the desert at night. Tomorrow, if we're still alive, we plan to head north. Wow, that was a little bit too fast for me to be able to do something like that. Goodness me. Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> Alright. Hi. I am currently recording, just so you know. Okay. Now. Hello. Yes, I am recording. But thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. It is always very nice. Does he want an invite to the guild? I am going to invite him whether he wants it or not. He must join us. He is already in a guild. Okay. Well, that is... That is okay. That is perfectly fine. Now we can head on to search for more signs of Wilkes's men. So, let's go. Right. Yes. Let's go across the Dune Sea. Sorry to interrupt you if you are recording already, but may I have a guild invite? Oh. How polite. Yes, you can. Of course. There we are. Welcome. Excellent. <laughs> another one. Another one bites the dust. I mean, what? No. Another one joins the fray and is hopefully going to be converted to the likes of the Reformian Alliance. And the, yes, the... Oh. Oh, there, oh, there we go. Yeah, yes, of course. And the last legion, of course. So, let's see here. Do you possibly think I could join the guild if so great? But if not, I don't mind. Yes, you may. Yes, you can. I did try to invite, but it said you were already in a guild. The mystery thickens. Yes. <laughs> uh, hello there. Hello. All right. Search for signs of Wilkes' men. Yes, it should be just over these dunes right here, and then we will be okay. I really should keep running while I'm typing, but sometimes I think to myself, hmm, don't really want to head into any kind of Sarlacc, do we? Or any kind of terrible beast that is going to devour us whole over a thousand years. That was my bad. I just left. All right. No problem at all. There we go. Welcome. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ah! Sand people, hello! Hello to the sand people. Let us do this. Andronicus, where are you? Where are you, Andronicus? You do not seem to be here. I have no idea why you are not here. Where is he? How do I summon him? Wait a minute. Pets? No. General? No. Revive? No. He's fine. He should be here. Why? Uh, where is he? How do I get him up again? I actually have no clue. Is that bad of me? Is that really bad of me? Yeah, I think it is. I think it actually is pretty bad. I don't know how to... Okay. Never mind. Let's do it. Let's do it by ourselves right here. We can do this. This is easy, right? As you can plainly see, it is pretty easy. So we are perfectly fine. I am still really concerned that I have no idea how to get our companions back. I would have thought that they would automatically? This is very strange. I am probably being completely stupid right now. 
probably. Read the data pad. Well, I could just stealth in here. That's actually pretty nice. Wait a second. Let me take a look at our preferences real quick. Okay, so after rummaging around in the preferences and the key bindings for a little bit, I decided that I would ask Zenny what is actually going on with the companion summoning. Now, what we can do is usually there would be something on the side here to obviously summon our companion, but we cannot currently do that, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to summon the crew member like this, and there he is. Thank you very much. So that's very, very nice indeed. And now we can interact with this data pad. I'm sure this guy's going to be completely fine. First Nerik, then Jack, then Hayes. Now Ford, I don't think I can take it anymore. I really think Paul is trying to kill me. He said it was the sand people who got Hayes and Jack, but he's lying. I can tell. He killed them while they slept. Hayes because he had the artifact, Jack because he accused Paul of killing Hayes. If I hadn't seen the Sand People kill Ford and Eric with my own eyes, I'd think it was all Pal, or Pale, however you want to say it. I just hope he doesn't find this, or I'm next. We plan to head east in the morning. I hope to live to see it. Oh yeah. Very nice indeed. Okay, so, let's see here. I do not want to do the bonus mission right now, of course, but so we are just going to be heading over here, and we will be finding more signs of Wilkes' men. Oh, yes. And I do think that our armor is actually still pretty decent, although our Acolyte's gloves could use an upgrade, in my opinion. So, I think that would probably be quite fine. I think that would be pretty nice. So, yes. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. Okay. Well, it seems like we're just following the Sith Sorcerer, but I'm actually not doing that, which is rather hilarious. I'm not, <laughs> not entirely sure. Here we are on both the same mission, so yes, that is bound to happen. And we do have a Sand People Sentinel here. Hmm. Okay. We can actually avoid those relatively easily, thankfully enough. We can actually do this. I'm going to head straight on in here. That guy will complete his bonus mission, no doubt. And we're going to be interacting. It's all over now. Paul's gone raving mad. He accused Beckis of trying to kill him at the last campsite and shot him. We were already deep into Sand People territory at the time, so the blaster shot drew all kinds of unwanted attention. Those beasts had us on the run for three days. Out of the fifteen of us that started, there's only me and Paul left. Now Paul's talking about taking the artifact of the Sand People's camp to the north as a peace offering. I tried to tell him there's no way we'll walk away from those beasts' camps alive, but he wouldn't listen. Oh ho! Okay, find Pal's body. Well, that's going to be relatively easy, I do believe. Oh, maybe not. We're probably going to be fighting quite a few enemies. Oh my, what's that? A Mandalorian freelancer? What are they doing here? Oh, please do not come after me. That would not be too nice. That is a champion unit after all. That would actually be really bad. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. We're going to do some little sneaky stuff. Ready. And we're going to be going stealth. Oh yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Are we going to be fighting this? No. It appears not. Hello. Damned idiotic, nerve-hurting sons of huts. They got away. Snap out of it. <laughs> Next time, just slap me in the face, okay? Damn crazy Sith. Take your blasters and let's go. Sure. There's just one thing I want to ask. You got room for an extra hand on your ship? I'm a damn good pilot, and I've got contacts a Sith will never make on his own. It'll be your show, no questions asked. I'm in charge, and don't you forget it. I'll take that as a yes, then. Oh yes, it definitely is a yes. I actually appreciate this guy's voice acting incredibly. I do appreciate his voice a vast amount, goodness me. I'd like to actually use him quite a bit, but... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure Kemval is our tank, technically, and, well, I think it may be a good idea just to use him, considering we are damaged, and Andronicus is also damaged, so, hmm, that's, that's kind of amusing. Actually, <laughs> what also is amusing is the fact that 
Andronicus's blasters and our lightsaber are having their shadows float in the sand, pretty much, as you can see. Look at that. That is so impressive. Okay, well, let us unstealth and we will make our way over... Oh my goodness. Make our way over to... Oh! Go to your ship's hangar. Okay, so we're actually just going to our ship's hangar. That is actually perfectly fine with me. So let's go back to the cantina. Hello again. Hello. Yes. Hello again. He said that. Oh my. Okay, so yeah, there we go. That was it. That was our time on Tatooine. That was actually cut short pretty soon. Huh. A little bit strange. I'm not entirely sure whether that's actually going to be the case. I actually feel like we probably are going to be coming across a couple more quests. I don't think they would tell us to go back to the ship if that was not the case, though. Really? Hmm. Okay, we'll see. We will see. And here we have arrived, and Casey Ricks is actually here, so I'm pretty sure that Andronicus and her are going to have some sort of Rendezvous? Hmm, I'm unsure what to call it, really. But nevertheless, let us interact. So you beat Wilkes and made it out of the desert alive, huh? Wilkes doesn't surprise me, but when I heard you were heading for the desert, well, I wasn't expecting to see either of you again. Andronicus turned out to be an okay fighter after all. Better than okay, huh? I got my share of them sand people. Wasn't meant as an insult. There's lots of stuff in that desert that can't be fought, and it's just as deadly. Anyway, I'm glad you came, because it gives me a chance to thank you for taking out that runt, Wilkes. With some real leadership, maybe the exchange on Tatooine can move ahead for a change. I am most grateful. No problem. Anytime. Hey. And Andronicos? I'm sorry. It's alright, huh? We wouldn't have worked out anyway. All that shouting and throwing stuff. Somebody was bound to get hurt. Yeah, right. Well, guess it's goodbye then. Good luck out there. Murder and mayhem await. <laughs> I get the feeling we're gonna make a damn good team, you and me. Let's get off this rock, huh? Yes, let's. Goodness me, I cannot get enough of this guy's voice, actually. Wow, okay. That was pretty impressive. So, okay, we're, yeah, we're gonna be heading back into our ship and... Interacting with our hollow terminal, no doubt talking to a Darth Zash. And yeah, she's actually mm, maybe plotting against us right now, because of course Kaelig is, well, Kaelig has warned us about that, so I'm a little bit worried, I gotta say. But nevertheless, we are now going to be interacting with the hollow terminal. Apprentice, you have recovered the artifact, I take it. Wonderful. Ah. Andronikos, what a pleasure to see you again. Hello yourself. Looks like you finally found your rock. Yes, thank you for leading us to it so obligingly. I'm sure you'll be a wonderful asset to my apprentice's crew. Now, apprentice, you must hurry and recover the remaining artifact. I'm giddy with anticipation. I look forward to seeing you in your glory. I'm actually a little bit worried, I gotta say. I'm a little bit worried that she's going to turn on us at any moment. That is going to be a little bit worrying, suffice it to say. Oh, yes. <laughs> Was that a little bit creepy? I don't know. Okay, let us take the basic commendations once again and reach level 32. And I will say thank you in the guild chat for them congratulating us on completing that quest. Or should we say that quest line? Oh, yes. Okay. So, yeah, we're pretty good, actually. I think we have some great... Hmm... I think we have some, some good items? I do think we have some good items. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so, ah, uh, Andronicus needs to talk to us. Well, I want to hear his voice again, so why not? So what's the story, Sith? Seems like you know all about me, and I don't know nothing about you. You always a sicko, or did you just kind of fall into it like I did? The Empire enslaved my family, but they decided I was special and made me Sith. Funny how those Sith work. I was an accountant on Moneyland when I decided I wanted a little more adventure. 
So I put a blaster to the head of the intergalactic banking clan and walked off with a few million credits. Been robbing and murdering ever since. How much of that story is true? Does it really matter? In three years, the Sky Princess took more cargo and harassed more Republic ships than half the Imperial fleet. I'm a liar and a thief and a murderer, but I'm good. Wow, that is very, very interesting. I like that a lot, actually. I do not believe that he was an accountant. Can I say that? I don't believe he was an accountant, but maybe, maybe, just maybe, he did do what he says he did and did put a blaster to the head of the banking clan. Perhaps. So, what are we going to do now? Well, we are going to be heading on over, I do believe, to Alderaan. Oh, yes. I believe that is, wait a minute, that's the home of the Jedi, is it not? Hmm, well, it's one of their strongholds, I do believe. So this is going to be quite interesting, I think. Hmm, let us see. Okay, order on it is. Level 28 to 32. What level are we now, by the way? Are we 31 or something? No, we are actually 32. Okay, so we're actually arriving at the very end of the quest line. Well, technically, very end of the level gap. So we're going to see how well this goes. Ah, my most marvelous apprentice. It's good to see you've made it safely to Alderaan. It really is a wonderful world. So rich in history. It's a shame you won't have time to visit the libraries. Is there a point in all of this? Your eagerness is welcome, apprentice. But it's important to know what you'll step into when you leave that ship. Alderaan is a planet in the throes of civil strife. A usurper sits on the throne and all of Alderaan's nobles make war. Your artifact was discovered by the Jedi Order years ago and given to one of Alderaan's noble houses. I don't know which one. I guess I'd better start asking then. House Thule is allied with the Empire. Their young leader, Alana Thule, is eager to help you. Go to House Thule and speak with her. Hopefully with her aid, you can reclaim the missing artifact. I see. I seem to remember, actually, that we helped someone else called Thule, but on a very different character. I believe that was Zan Val's adventure. Hmm, let's actually see, shall we? Let us actually see whether that is indeed the case. Wow, okay. That is pretty impressive if it is. I think it might actually be, because this seems to... Yeah, I think I remember this planet. But it was only a very short time ago that we did that, unless I am completely misremembering. Okay, so we have arrived on Alderaan's surface, as you can plainly see, and wow, this is a very grand structure indeed, but for now what we will be doing is speaking to Lord Milana, Shall I instruct you? and we will be getting a couple of... Oh my! That is actually really cool. Okay, assassinate. That's going to be very, very useful for bosses, I, I do believe, be. because really... Below 30% HP on normal units, really not too worth it, but against champion units doing that much damage? I mean, that is going to be very, very powerful indeed. Where is Assassinate? That's going to be right here, isn't it? Uh, okay. Attempts to assassinate the target, only use born targets at or below 30% max health. So if we put that here, I think that's probably going to be a very worthwhile thing indeed. So, let us head in to Thule Palace, and we will be speaking to Ilana Thule. Very, very quickly indeed. Oh, and we still have Andronicus with us. I actually think that that would be a little better than Kemval, considering he does speak during the cutscenes. And it may be a little bit easier to understand what he's saying, of course, unless you are reading the subtitles too. So, without further ado, let us speak to Ilana Thule. My lady, this must be the Sith we've been expecting. I can feel his power. Welcome, Sith. I'm sorry for the chaos. Alderaan is on the brink of civil war. But House Thule owes the Empire so much. I am honored. How gracious. If not for the Empire, House Thule, I would not be on Alderaan today. But our history can hardly be of interest to you. Darth Zash mentioned you're after a certain artifact. Am I correct? You've heard correctly. Excellent. Then I should be able to help you quite a bit. Allow me to introduce Ertel Morin. He's my personal Sith guard. He did some preliminary investigation after Darth Zash called. It is an honor. I've heard many things about Lord Zash's apprentice. 
I began my research on a hunch house Organa close to ties with the Jedi. We captured and chatted with a Chamberlain of House Organa. He confirmed that Organa holds the artifact, and that it is kept in their private vault in the Elysium. What's the Elysium? The Elysium is an ancient and majestic ruin on Alderaan, now reduced to a battlefield. Unfortunately, the Elysium is sealed tight, and the key is held by Nomar Organa, a powerful, revered, and insufferable Jedi Master. You are the only Sith on Alderaan who even stands a chance of defeating Nomar. We must bring him here. Nomar Organa has a reputation for strength and power, but above all, for his principles. He is, by all accounts, the perfect Jedi, but everyone has weaknesses. Isn't that right? Bring him here and I'll twist his arm. I suggest you start in the library of House Alder. They are devoted keepers of Alderaan's history. Personal connections, I think, would be most useful. Siblings he was particularly close to, childhood friends. But be careful. House Alde is a close ally of Organa. They're likely to attack anyone from Thul on sight. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sith. It is a pleasure to meet you, but I must just mention that he referred to our... Zash as Lord Zash rather than Darth Zash. I think that might have been a little bit of a script error there, but yes, that is perfectly fine. Maybe he was just being a little bit disrespectful there. He is a Sith after all, and they need to be ambitious. Oh, yes. Okay, so we are going to be heading over to the Alder Library very, very soon. But first, I will be ending this episode here. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.